Hello everyone and welcome back to Dicey Dungeons. So this time around we're going to be doing the Dicey Dungeons Reunion Tour. Uh, the second, I think, free DLC that was introduced. I don't know, when I bought the game this came with it, just it was just there, so I'm assuming it was a free update. Um, let's just jump into this. So unlike the Halloween one, this one is a brand new um, episode for every character, which is kind of awesome. Um, let's go ahead and just jump right in. For some reason, the Thief is actually considered the easiest ones. The difficulty ramps up kind of quickly with the rest of these two. So, yeah, alright, let's go ahead and start this. Also, okay, there there's cutscenes to this one. Like, when you both start the, um, the reunion tour, plus when you, like, uh, start and finish your run with the character. For some reason on replays, it doesn't play these, and I don't know if there's a way to get them back. They're kind of fun, and they have like some some funny like characterization of these uh, of the dice people. Let's welcome back to our not so um, inescapable maze trap, the thief. Um, actually, I should go back out real quick. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm here for the money. To be clear, it's quite a lot of money. Reunion. So there's a bit, a couple big differences with the reunion tour. Um, for starters. Every enemy in the game has whole new, like, weapons and equipment. So, like, if you remember, this guy had, like, a single attack that was, like, a big countdown. Um, and, uh, and, like, when it hit zero, it did, like, 10 to 20 damage. Here, it's now called the Rocket Launch. You need a six, then you need a five, then you need a four, then you need a three, and it just keeps going. And when you hit zero, you do 20 damage. And that's... It's kind of big. This guy is based around, like, huge, big attacks now. Or he always has been, but it's it's just, like, a nice little twist on, like, how he goes about doing this. Some of these, uh, some of these, like, remade, um... Or some of these, like, reimagined movesets are kind of pretty unique, actually. Um, so, your characters have new gimmicks in the Reunion Tour, too. I think the Thief is the least, like, different one... Instead, how, how it works, or how the Thief works this time around, is that you will sometimes, or every round, you'll get, like, a different um, equipment from your opponent, and you can actually steal it to keep it permanently for the rest of the run. Let's see here. If I had a bump, I would use it. Okay, let's just drop these in for now. We don't really have much on us at the moment. I don't really want Nudge. Nudge is probably more useful as the Thief than most characters. Oh god, you got two in one roll. Actually, you might get quite a bit to, like, what you need to do. Yeah, you got, like, halfway through your countdown just from the first turn. I need at least three turns because of this. Probably do that. No, that didn't really do anything. Yeah, I would have done five damage there regardless. Okay, okay, I think I... Ooh, god. Well, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh! You could have bumped that and gotten... Hmm... Yeah, I'll take that! <laughs> Fine, fair enough. I forgot you had to, like, launch off the rocket, too. Wolf Puppy Howl add random status. Yeah, originally that move, um, gives you fury, but now it just does that. Okay, what's the slime's new gimmick? I feel like the thief is by design the least uh, the least different one because they want you to get used to these new move sets first. So you have poison needle now, and slime pick. Split it. Split a dice in two. If you're splitting a six, you do you deal one poison damage. I might keep that actually. That feels very useful because like, you know, thief traditionally wants smaller numbers, so this would be a really good thing to put with sixes. Yeah, there we go. So we'll do that. We'll do, uh, that. Then we'll drop that there, too. And you got a six. Okay. Best case scenario, you get two threes. Good, because you can't use those. That is a very nice thing to grab. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. Oh, no, you're gonna die to poison. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, because, like, the poison damage rounds, I think, down. So, like, it is, or up, so it is still gonna do one damage. 
Because it, it like does half damage. There we go. It does like half damage. Um, but then it like rounds up by one, because like they can't do decimals here. Okay, let's take on the pirate first, because that gives us access to the shop. Pirate hook. A uh, pirate hook shot. Next equipment will have plus one use, so return the dice. Red beard. Do X damage unless it's a si if it's not a six, you inflict one burn. I gotta say, neither of those seem super, super useful. I'm gonna split that, because if I got a four, I would've loved to put that there. And then we can add a status. One curse, okay, that could save us from taking some damage. It did not, but okay. Yeah, why not? And then we'll do two damage. I don't think adding a six of a status, single status ailment is worth, um... Oh, jeez. I don't think doing a six of a status ailment is worth taking two damage. Double attack damage for the rest of the turn. Okay. I think we can kill you this turn. Without taking any extra damage, too. That's pretty awesome. Alright, what do we got here? Roll two ones, roll two fours. Do four damage, weakens enemy. That might be worth it. I might take lockpick out, because that is like straight up just a power creep version of that. This sounds nice, actually, because you get a lot of, um, because of this, you get a lot of advantage off of fours. I'm gonna buy that, actually. We're getting a couple things of cooldowns, too, so it'd be kind of neat to pick up something that can, like, it'd be neat to pick up Wrecking Ball, that item that, like, makes it so, uh, um, so when you, uh, place something in it, or it, like, lowers the countdown of everything by X. Disco Ball. Okay, what's your new stuff? Do X damage on a 6, you get plus 1 dice next turn. Feedback Loop. Inflict 1 weakness plus 1 of each use. I kind of like that. I'm gonna steal that. Anything to do X damage is very nice. Drop that in there. Drop that in there, and then, I guess, um, yeah, why not? Might as well get some use out of that one. I can kill you in 14 health. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if that's super needed, though. I mean, what else am I going to put it in? Just do the six damage. We're going to level up after this, so I'm not really worried at all. No effect, jeez. Hey, when you were outside, did you hear any um, about streaming? Someone said they're they're a new thing. Do you like? Do you think they'd um they fit in my tape deck? I. I this. Berlin key or crowbar? Oh 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 yes okay that that's exactly what I was looking for. It's not wrecking ball, but that's that's really good too. I'm at full health. Why'd I try to grab that? Well, now I have more of an incentive to get, uh, countdown equipment, too. Or, like, more of it. Do you have countdown equipment? What do you got? Ancient Slingshot. Must equal four, 7. Inflict 4 poison. Acorn Shield. Plus 1 shield. Dice value minus 1. 
So it looks like you're meant to shield yourself while nudging down your value so you can get to seven. That's interesting. It, I, I might prefer acorn shield, actually. I can put a 4 in there, I'm going to get 2 effects. we are. Nice! Okay, that was a really good use of that. Alright, let's pick these up. Uh, was there anything countdown related in the shop? Bench press. If this is like a one, or if this was like half the size, I'd consider it. And I don't really need ones that desperately. I think the other charm thing is way better. That's not a bad loadout. I might want to replace this with two other countdown abilities eventually, but for now I'm kind of happy with what we got. Okay, Sticky Hand. Sticky Hand is actually, like, kind of annoying in, um... I mean, this guy's always annoying, but, like, look at this. Do X times 2 damage, a 50% chance to backfire. I find more often than not it does backfire, but, like, that's still kind of insane that he can essentially do, uh, potentially do 12 damage to you. Trick or treat. I'm gonna do this just to get them a little bit closer and then we'll just do we'll do five damage. Okay, so he he's gonna do ten damage to himself or me. To me, okay. I think it's a no-brainer to use that. Or wait. Yes! Okay, that was a gamble, but it worked out. <laughs> 24 damage. Spiky sneeze. Ooh! Oh, that's kind of nice, actually. I'm gonna put that in there. And why not? I would like to grab another countdown-related item at some point. That's kind of my big wish right now. Um, I'm going to say I want a little extra health for Sorceress. Deck of Wonders. I'm going to take it. It's not quite what I wanted, but it'll do. I wanted a 4, so I could put another 4 in there. Do X damage or turn a 1? It needs to be a... okay. That would be a good use for 6s, too. Ah, not quite. Okay, that was a bit of a waste. Infliction. Sword Hilt. What the heck does that do? Wait a second. Do X plus 6 damage. Oh, it does 7 damage, but you need a 1. 
That synergizes as well with Uppercut, actually, though thankfully you didn't get that. Well, this will give me two fours. I can drop those in there. Um, I got no use for this two. Lucky seven. Counterspell. Not the worst stuff you could have rolled, to be perfectly frank. I didn't roll a 4. Well, now I can't really use a 4. Actually, this will kill. I don't have to worry about this. I can save that limit break for later. That probably... Ooh, okay. That probably turned out a lot better than it could have. Okay, let's see if we can upgrade anything. Can I... Okay, can I absolutely shrink this? I can shrink that. Okay, that's worth it. That turns... That lowers the restriction a little bit. Uh, what does this do? Plus one dice this fight as opposed to next turn. Okay. That's pretty good. Two uses this turn. By five. Three uses this turn. On an even. I think it'd be better to just shrink this for now so I can have more stuff that can take advantage of the crowbar and the spiky sneeze. So let's take lockpick out. Cactus Needle. Even do X damage, odds gain two thorns. Okay. I'm gonna drop that there, actually. I should've waited until next turn to use that. Ah, oh, that was a waste. I only did 4 damage. But I could've done, like, 16 instead. That's kind of nasty. Okay, we just need to do three damage. This'll do it. That was a rough encounter. Hopefully I can get my health back soon. Yeah, because I used up one of the apples earlier. That's a rotten apple. Oh, also, look at this! Like, that that's a nice little, like... <laughs> it's, a, it's a pool. I, mean, I gotta fight one of them before I can get to the apples. Let's just fight. I, I want to see what you have. I, I don't think you're based around like having health anymore. It's like nine poison once per battle. Yeah, that's kind of big. Yeah, this background is so nice. <laughs> Hmm. 
Well, I say one four. That's pretty ideal. Oh, I cursed you. That's once per battle, so if you get cursed when when activating that, that would be insane. That's gonna roll two fours. Okay. Oh, oh cool, you just died to poison. Uppercut for Catastrophe. That's another countdown ability. I'll take that. In fact, I might even replace Wolf Puppy Howl with that. Yeah, I think I will. Six or seven and inflicts three stats instead. It can't inflict Curse, which is by far like the best one of the best stats to put on enemies, but I think it's going to be worth it for that. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have used um, both apples. That might have been a waste of health. It's... Yeah, 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 why not? I want to fight Wisp first, because I historically... Th this enemy's a pain in the ass. Pixie Flame. Do X damage if it's an even inflict vanish. Do X damage haunt X dice. Haunt is not a big issue against enemies, or for enemies, so yeah, we'll... I don't think I'll, I'll really steal that. Well, let's start by dropping that in. We'll drop that there. Uh, I have no use for a 5, so we'll put that there. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, maybe I could have planned that a little better, just do a little more damage, but whatever. So you're adamant to use Pixie Flame. Yep, okay, for 6 damage, I can't blame you. Nothing's activating Vanish, which is nice. Gotta remember, this will only give me 1 4 because of Vanish. I can't really use Slime Pick, but I don't have a 6, so I don't have much incentive to. That could have been a lot worse. Ooh. Okay, wait, I'm gonna use... Uh, no, that'll make it so... Don't vanish my three. That's great, actually. Oh, okay, well, not so great, but... Yeah, we'll drop that there, we'll drop that there. Nice, look at all those statuses. Give me a four. Nope. Ah, come on. Yes, that's going to vanish one of them, but it'll still do eight damage, which is more than enough to kill you. Alright, pick that up. Let's fight Haunted Jar. So what's your gimmick in this one? Inflict Toxic. Okay, that's a new status ailment to the DLC. I think what this does is it makes it so you gain one poison every time you use an equipment, which is actually really bad for this class. I mean, why not? Um, I 
sure. Poison Paradise. We got this. Yep, that'll do it. Hacksaw. Backstab. Backstab might be nice, but I just want to look at like what I can uh, what, what I can upgrade. Two uses this turn. I think that might be worth it the most. Aurora. Okay, we'll fight you first. Changes each turn reusable. This is basically what your old gimmick is, too. And it's a countdown ability as well, which is great. Yeah, I love that that's reusable. Oh, we'll drop that in, and then, like, we'll just, you know, keep dropping these here. Why not? And then two of each status ailment. Those are all going to become ones. Oh no, burn dice can't become fr uh, can't be reduced to one. That's kind of interesting. Very close to getting another berserk there, but I think it'd be best to save that till the next um the next round. Ooh, jeez. Okay, let's split this first. Drop a one there. Drop a one there. Um, put that there. Crowbar, and then we'll put this in whatever is like the the lowest. I think we'll do that, actually. I say it's like we're not gonna win next turn regardless of what happens anyway. I- why couldn't you have put the- the one in and then, like, use the five? That's- that's a bad choice you just made, uh! Yep, there we go. A fair fight, executed with the um, inspired determination of one who has a, sto a stone po a at some point in the last two years seen a rainbow. When is the last time I've seen a rainbow? I know it has been, like, before the past two years. Um, Alright, let's go to backpack. Oh, no, not backpack, not backpack. Crowbar, square pair, spiky sneeze. Using this twice per turn would be nice. Yeah, we'll upgrade Crowbar. Skeleton is always a heavy hitter. Let's see what, what you have. Roll the Bones. Enemy, en enemy loses a dice for the rest of the fight. We'll keep that, it's a countdown. Maybe I should have done this differently. Yes, okay, that is exactly what I wanted to do. That's kind of broken, actually, if you can get that off multiple times. It doesn't say once per battle, either. 
Okay, that's an even, or that's an odd, so I'd have nothing to worry about there. One poison to you. I have no use for a five. Oh my god, I'm gonna get this off twice. Is it possible to have him, like, not have dice anymore? He can't use two-handed skull now. I might keep that. Like, that's a good disabler ability. I wonder if I can shrink it, because I, would I, I wouldn't mind replacing Slime Pick with that, like, hard up. Oh, what's gonna happen? He can't roll dice! Oh my god! That is actually broken. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh... You know, let's try something a little funky. I know what Cornori Cornor Cornelius' new gimmick is. Gets an extra dice every turn. If I keep activating this... Yeah, okay, I think how this works is like, you know, approach, needs 6, needs 5, needs 4, needs 3, and I don't know what happens when you hit 0, but I'm assuming you just instantly kill the opponent. I don't see much use in stealing that. We're gonna use this instead. If I can keep this up, you're never going to get any dice. This is really fun, actually. I mean, it's a slow kill, but I, I just want to see how low I can get this number. If just one of these were- if one of these stasses were poison, that would be kind of overpowered as well. You know, I might as well try to activate Approach while I'm doing this. Because I've never really done that, but- oh, now I don't get a 6. Okay. Uh, whatever. Oh, you need more every turn. Ah, eh, fair enough. Yeah, when you do it, you have to do it every turn, apparently. Okay. Do 9 damage. Oh, by the time you have this many dice, you're yeah, you definitely are doing that much damage per turn. Well, you got your first dice, Cornelius. Ugh. We'll drop those in, why not? Yeah.
that was that was goofy. <laughs> I really liked that. I don't want to do that for every encounter, but you know. Hookshot and so another spiky sneeze. Interesting. Hold on a sec. Um. I'm gonna take that out for now. It's fun, but like, I, it just feels a little too overpowered. <laughs> this, this is entirely countdown based now. If I could just shrink this, or no. Okay, you know what, hold on. I'm buying a lot of stuff I don't need, but I really don't care. I, <laughs> Loud Bird is actually quite a bit more annoying here because of a particular status um, you can put on me. Yeah, caw, caw, caw. I forgot what it does, but I know I hate it. This too, this is a unique effect. Reset the limit break. Why not? When you use any equipment, inflict weaken to yourself. Uh oh. <laughs> and yeah, okay. Okay. Who's our final boss? Ah, uh, you again, okay. The dungeons whisper your name as I slumbered, and I have um, readied my loyal spear. Come perish on it, mate. Yeah, even the bosses have new equipment. Inflict HORRIBLE STATUS AILMENTS! Do X damage. Two uses this turn. That seems like a good use for my fours. So we'll see if we can get square pair by doing this. Yep, there we are. Good, good. What are you activating? Sorrows. Okay, what counts as a horrible status ailment? Any six I roll is locked. Okay. We can deal with that. Oh, there we are. I, I gotta say, I don't think I've ever really used Catastrophe that efficiently before. Oh, you still get the ending cutscene when you beat um, a match as each character. But not the beginning one? That's weird. 
You made it through, eventually. Although I suppose you've managed to deprive me of yet more of my, more of my hard-earned loot in the process. Come on, you're so rich already, what do you need the money for? Actually, I'm glad you asked. I was thinking I, it might be nice to buy the moon and paint it with a giant picture of my face. You know, to gaze down from ever, forever upon the pitiful earth and so on. I guess I do have to respect that as an aim. Oh, well, there we are. That's the reunion episode for Thief done. <laughs> Alright, I will see you folks later. Uh, next time we will do... The Jester! Great, great. Jester has changed so much in Reunion to a point in which I'm not a super big fan of their playstyle in this, but, like, it's still pretty fun. I will see you folks next time. Thanks for watching.